नमस्कार तू चीज बड़ी है मस्त मस्त हु कैन फर्गेट दैट सॉन्ग फ्रॉम मोहरा वट आई वॉन्ट टॉक अबाउट टूडे इज एन इंडिविजुअल हु वाइल इन तमिलनाडु विल से शी नोज नो वर्ड ऑफ हिंदी बट वैन शी इज इन डेली शी इज आउट शॉपिंग फॉर नुसरत फतेह अली खान गजल्स समबड़ी हु कैन अंडरस्टैंड गजल्स इन डेली लूजेस ऑल नॉलेज ऑफ हिंदी स्लैश उर्दू स्लैश कवाली गजल वट एवर यू वॉन्ट कॉल इट and uh, when she arrives in chennai i'm talking about none other than kanimuri karunanidhi why am i talking about her today here we go i'll tell you why kanimuri karunanidhi as you all know is the sister of mr m k stalin and what i would say is also one of those people who would uh, without batting an eyelid throw her hat into the ring should there be a contest for the post of chief minister she has been a member of parliament Uh, Rajya Sabha as well as Lok Sabha, and uh, I don't know if she has accomplished much as an administrator. At least Stalin was um, a mayor of Chennai, and he was also the deputy chief minister under uh, Muthuvel Karunanidhi. So we don't know what she can and cannot do as an administrator. Now let's take a quick look at who her friends are. One of them is this fellow called Father Jagat Gaspar, and. she and he are supposed to be very very close to each other now i don't know what has been happening in the recent past but over several years they have been you know close sometimes they go away they come back and they have been working together the problem with that is that mr jagat gaspar who also has other names and i'm going to read that out to you in a minute he is an ltte sympathizer he is probably uh, got some very serious crimes under his belt and also has shown some very nefarious tendencies let's see what all he has done father jagat gaspar raj there is an fbi red corner notice issued against him for criminal conspiracy and this the case was filed in 2006 the verdicts came down in 2011 and he has been on the lam since and it is interesting that the fbi has become so kind hearted that they have not arrested him yet maybe they still can't trace him who knows anyway so what was he or what was he sentenced for he was sentenced for providing material support he tried to attempt to bribe uh, officials in the united states created fake documents and they 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 have they are talking broadly about a lot of things and there is a fairly detailed document about all the charges you can take a look at it now this has been around for a long time now the, the sentencing like i said was in 2011 now we are in 2022 and we are wondering you know why so what is why have you not caught him yet all good questions all good questions just recently we are finding out that the uh, Uh, 2008 mastermind has been uh, arrested in pakistan and he may be extradited to us so who knows maybe mr jagat gaspar raj's turn is next well how will that reflect on miss kanimuri you have to wait and see so here is the charging that was done in 2006 you can see a lot of names and one of the other names of J- uh, jagat gaspar raj is Gaspar Raj Maria Polian I don't know where these long names come from I can't tell where he is from and so on but this is the charge sheet there are many people along with whom he was charged and one of them has admitted to his guilt and he was uh, sentenced in uh, so he was sentenced in 2011 and he is under supervisory release which means that there are some conditions he needs to follow that was for a period of 3 years and then this is not uh, this is not gaspar raj this is one of the accomplices murugesu vinayagamurthy now what did mr gaspar raj do just a few days back he openly called for another partition of india on the basis of religion 1947 all over again he says that the muslims and the sc st communities constitute 40% and therefore they should be demanding a new uh, a land for themselves i don't know how these things don't get uh, don't come under the eyes of the dmk government somebody trying to raise funds to rebuild a temple comes 
to their attention and they go and throw that person in jail. So we have a very lopsided system of justice dispensation in Tamil Nadu. This has been something that we have been talking about for a long time. And, and you know, the more I see this, the more I am reminded of how things played out between 2012 and 2017 in the state of Uttar Pradesh. Many who have lived there through that era said that a particular community in Hindus and the Muslim community got a free check. They could do whatever they wanted and the police would look the other way. They would not book them on anything or any crime and they basically rode roughshod on the state. And that's why the first thing when Yogi Adityanath came to power in 2017 was to put a curb on all these nefarious activities. And he has succeeded largely. I don't see uh, a, any <coughs> trouble from these communities except for this odd stone pelting that happened. That happens, you know, it's, it's a fairly uh, well-planned event. Um, clearly, they are keeping it under the wraps beyond the reach of intelligence. Who knows what kind of uh, software they are using. People say they are using Telegram. Be that as it may. So we know that there are other undercurrents happening in Tamil Nadu. I've told you this, I think yesterday in the Ilan Omar video, I told you how Mr. Veeramani of Dravida Karaham is also related to all these other lumpens who are pushing through this USCIRF funding or the IAMC or the OFMI uh, and so on and so forth. I can go on. There are many other things. Um, the point I'm trying to make is when it comes to breaking up India, they all seem to gang up together. And, and I don't know who the, the fountain of all this stuff is, but I do know enough that unless India acts quickly, these things will become bigger and bigger. You are already seeing what is happening in Punjab. So, you have problems in Kashmir, you have problems in Punjab, you have problems in Bengal, you have problems in Kerala, and now you are going to have problems in Tamil Nadu also. Five states, all of them border states. Don't think that just because they are on the uh, sea coast that they are uh, not border states. There is a lot of activity going on. At any rate, I just wanted to put my two cents on this. And I'm looking forward to the day that Mr. Gaspar Raj will be brought back to the United States to uh, uh, face his term in jail. Thanks for watching. Please like, share and subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to click on the bell button for notifications. Please consider donating using the super thanks button. Namaskar.